What's going on, people, and welcome back to the party. So we've started to expand ourselves a little bit into the Grinmere territory. I'm actually going to be taking on the champion. Um, he's a little bit of a, I would say, honestly, he might be one of the hardest, if not the hardest champion I've ever come across. Let me take a look in here, and I'll show you exactly how this works. If we look at this guy's traits, and as we can see, he places judgment on a target. What he does is he will, um, so like almost every turn, he's going to uh, do something called kill the weak. So it's going to essentially, whoever whoever attacks him first is going to get attacked by this. It's going to disengage them. And then he's going to run over to whoever has judgment on them and then also use the same attack on them. So you'll see, you'll see exactly what's going to happen in a minute here. But I assume that if uh, he's also surrounded, then he's also going to use this for freedom ability as well. So I kind of have to... Oh yeah, I see. So it applies judgment to the weakest enemy within range. Gotcha. And each time they deal damage, they gain one application of fortitude. Okay. Really? Less than 20% hit points, they decide to flee the battle. Interesting. Okay. So I think essentially what the trick is, is to slow down Fenris. That's the first thing. And then uh, do my best to make sure that everybody else can get out of range after they use their attack. So... So Violet being the one that's targeted by the judgment, I'm probably gonna have to save her turn until like it's absolutely necessary to move her out of the way. But I'll probably start off with Medieval. I'm gonna use his galvanized troops and then try to get in there and weaken him. But I'm also gonna cause, uh, I'm also gonna employ protection to make sure that Violet has enough defense to be able to survive these attacks. And then, um, and then Ryan is gonna be the next target most likely. So I'll have to make sure I account for that. I'm kind of just like talking myself through this process and trying to figure out how we're going to do this. But I think what I'm mainly going to do is start off with that protection. And then I'm going to try to get Violet out of the way when she gets really, really low on health. I'm going to need somebody who's capable of slowing this guy down. So what I'll do most likely is this. Let's put Ryan and Lucephalus in range here. I'm going to use Jezebel to slow this guy down after I get protection after I get protection from medieval then I'm going to since they're all gonna have inspiration I'm gonna start moving them out of range when they get too low um, I think that you know how else we could really do this um, because what will what will likely happen is like so the more people that I have the more the, the crappier this fight is going to be essentially because it's gonna take like 18 turns to get through all my or 15 turns to get through all my units which means he has the ta the chance to attack someone eight or 15 times so if i'm not careful this is going to be a little bit of a uh catastrophe you know what maybe i should definitely i should definitely utilize poisons as well poisons and burning which of course violet's going to get the opportunity to when she can so i think we'll just have to stick for this stick with this for now i'd say um yeah i got inquisitor Alexander back there. I'm probably going to put Philip here. Reflection. And then I can likely still move over to get that protection going on her. Yep, perfect. All right. Okay. So if I was still engaged on Medieval, um, and you know what, I think it might be better to do it this way, to be honest. If I was still engaged with Medieval, what would have happened there is uh, I likely, uh, he would have used it on Medieval initially, right? And then after that, he would have ran over to Violet anyway and attacked her again, which would have given him an extra stack of fortitude. So I think we'll just have to, I guess, chisel away at this guy as we go. generate as few stacks of this as we possibly can okay let's see where this goes so I'm also gonna take Jezebel got the slow down on him okay got the slow and now that we've done that his his range is gonna be oops sorry his range is gonna be significantly reduced right so now we just have to stay out of that radius and um, essentially when I when I'm get when I get ready to move violet out of there He's going to move on to the next person and start attacking them instead. So essentially, anybody who's weak 
I need to keep out of his uh, his domain. Pop this. You know what? I should have popped it back there. I'm sorry. Ivar. Ivar, I think, is okay to keep next to him because uh, he can take the hits if need be. Right? So that should be fine. Although, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to go ahead and move Ivar a little bit farther away. Just to be safe. Okay. Alright. So now, we're going to make Violet take her turn. Right? And I'm not going to, I'm not going to attack him because I want that poison to stack. Really good. Really, really good. Okay. And then judgment switches targets. Now, Elizabeth, I would consider her decent tank, right? So wouldn't I wish I could use disarm on this guy. Unfortunately, I can't. Get, the, get him to stabilized, right? He's no longer burning, I've noticed. That's unfortunate. I'm probably going to need to make sure I get that burn back on him before the turn ends. Uh, you know what? She's okay to stay over here a little bit. Okay, now he's going to start going for Ryan, right? Exactly. So, now what we can do here is I'm going to keep Ryan's turn in the wing a little bit. Um, we're kind of blocked, aren't we? Let's get bubbles on him. I should have moved the bears up a little bit more. I'm sorry. So this is what happens when he essentially already has a target. He disengages from bubbles and then he gets right back on Ryan. You see? And then once I once I move out of here, he's likely going to go for fill up. I need to get these people out of the way here. Hold on. I'm likely just going to put Alexander like right over here ish. Uh, let me get. Hold on. I could use that fragility though. That would be nice, but I'm just going to I'm going to keep Alexander out of the way cuz I need to make sure I get the bears in range of him. So, I'm just going to keep him like over here for now. Want everybody to get a good distance, spread out a little bit. Make sure we get this uh it's going. So, now he has brutality, right? So, now we're going to have to no matter what I think I'm Maybe I can get one more bear in there before executing Ryan's turn. I do like the name he's got going as well, Fenris Dread. I like that. So let me see, does he already have fragility? You know what, he might actually use an AoE move here on this next one uh, because he now that he's surrounded, he might use this. Hopefully not, but we'll see. I don't think he has fragility yet. There we go. We'll pop that on top of him. Okay. So he didn't yet. Good. All right. So now you can see now is the time for Ryan to get out of there. So let's do this first. Give it to, yeah, I'd say probably Bjorn. First things first, let's pop him. Mm hmm. Good stuff. Do it again. Nice. So now, judgment goes on Philip. Simple as that. Now, we're going to conserve Philip's stacks as best we possibly can. Although, um, if I needed to, I could probably get Philip out there, out of there as well, and it probably would be, it probably would be just fine. 
to be honest. Um, yeah, I'd say... So who will you target, target next? Probably Alexander, right? Only thing, though, that'd be a little bit of a problem for... Um, bit of a problem if he decides to target Ryan again, right? So let's let's get him over here. Let's see what happens. Okay, so right now Judgment is still on Alexander. Crap. That's what I was hoping would not happen. Okay, but once he's under 20%, he's going to run, right? So... Okay, not bad. I think we've already got him dead to rights. He's likely gonna run. Maybe not. The judgment's probably gonna flip again. Yep, it flipped. So I guess if I block him, is that it then? Block his movement? Kind of like that. Nice. We actually got him. I can't believe it. I stand corrected. I stand corrected. That guy was not that bad at all. Wow. Okay, so now I can... Uh, I can actually give this to Jezebel. Because you see, I was actually wondering if I'd ever get a really decent spear again to be able to give to her. Uh, or if she'd be using this range one for the rest of, you know, the game. It looks like I can do just that. I'm actually surprised that we were able to, to win win against that. I thought I thought that was going to be a lot harder than it actually ended up being. So there is a Tomb of the Ancients in here, but I do still need to work on investigating this murder. Um, it's still a work in progress, but we're making some headway. Um, so far, we've done some investigating, and it seems that... What's her name? I can't remember. One of the brokers? Because there's like a series of brokers which are like the high council, quote-unquote, of the city. And it seems like... Uh, who's that? Oh, that's, I think, a part of a quest. It seems like one of the brokers might have been behind the actual killing. So I'm still doing an investigation. Uh, that Rouse Field was so fun. I really enjoyed playing that. And then I need to I need to figure out where that Tomb of the Ancients is, because I think that'll be the last one that I ever have to do, or at least right now. Uh, oh, no, no, no. This swamp, this swamp area also has one that I haven't done yet, so there's that one too. But uh, so far, it's been going okay. We're at 32% right now, 32 out of 100. And um, I think I have to go to this arena clash. That's where we're going to go now. And we're going to take this arena on to see if we can get a little bit closer to one of the brokers that's suspected of killing this person. Um, and we had to actually take down the initial Grenmere arena to do this, which was kind of, it was kind of tough because it was, um, it was a situation where uh, when you, when you knock someone out, like normally when you take somebody out in, a, in an arena, like you get them down to zero health. They would just um, walk out of the battle. But in this province, uh, the guys would actually stay in the fight, even when they got down to one or zero HP. And then at the end of the round, if there was anybody else still alive, their health, the, the people that were really low, would heal up to however much health the, low pe the, uh, the other remaining people had. So it was really difficult to deal with, especially on the champion. But I was able to finally, you know, get past it by um, just kind of doing a little bit of... Um, a little bit of spreading the damage. Ooh, that's a gold cart caravan. Hold on, let me see if I can reach that. Please. We can get it. We can get it. Nice. Stand back, peasants. These valuable commodities are only for those who can afford them. You always gotta call me a peasant, man. All right. Now, so that's our next step. We're going to go take part in this arena clash and see exactly what um, kind of evidence we can gather about this broker person. So this guy wants me to actually represent him in the uh, in the arena clash. Champions to restore my arena's reputation. Okay. I beg you, do this for me. Thank you. You won't be disappointed, I promise. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. 
All right, hopefully he gives us some really good evidence though. So I'm not sure if it's this guy that was the guy that was actually this behind the murder or if he's got just some information for us, but Welcome I guess we'll to have to see. Arena. Oh, you're representing Burner's Arena. Ooh, victorious. <laughs> That's sporting of you mercenaries, but you don't stand a chance. Hovendorf won the title for Burner. years in a row. Broker Burner is completely out of his league. Yeah, that's the one that people are suspecting. Okay. So, let's take a look here. When the unit is out of combat, the crowd throws incendiary flasks on a random unit from the opposing team. That's what? Who does that? God. When in Rome, right? Okay, let's see. Um, definitely want Alexander in there. He's my heavy hitter right now. He's, he has been for a little while. Ivar. Ivar's been... Yeah, Ivar's been taking a front seat. In these fights now William I like William have I love, love having him in there actually and I think I was bringing like Philip or Violet in there um, but I think I'm actually gonna go for the Inquisitor or um, you know what I could go for Jess or Elizabeth but no I'm gonna I'm probably gonna go for the Inquisitor she is an excellent armor breaker and her first initial attack is really strong depending on the type of opponent that she's fighting applies burning to all that walk through it gotcha okay Mm-hmm. I could take both of those units out by myself. Ivar can take her out. Yep. Oh man. So I guess I guess this guy has more strength than her, so because normally it's supposed to be like a guaranteed crit otherwise. At least she's really beefy though. Really, really beefy as well. I do like the idea of having two tanks. Okay. You're up, Alex. Ooh. Really? Like, that damage shouldn't be right. It should be higher than that. What? Are we talking about the same Alexander here? Who's next? Her? Okay. Surprising. Very surprising. Alright, let's move him out of the way. Okay, um... Who's next? Her? Now, Ivar should probably be able to, like, one-shot her. He's really strong. Oh, I'm sorry. Two shot her. I meant like one skill shot her essentially, but still, it worked out. Then, let's see if you can. You can. Oh, okay. I see the incendiary flask now. Yep, so they're throwing them all over. All over us. We're going to need some healing after this one. Um. Yep, it's over. Yeah, just end it. I don't want to waste any more health than I have to. That was a piece of cake. So I'm going to use critical damage increase. I think these two will... Actually, no, we're going to heal these two. And then these two will uh, will use to gain more valor points on. This is actually a fairly easy arena so far. Don't let me speak too soon, though. Never know. Okay. Oh, we're a little split, are we? Okay, I see. So he's gonna go first. He's second. Third and fourth. Works for me. Really wish that was a crit. Please. Oh, okay. Oh, I forgot these were the guys that do that. The true damage. Be a pikeman or... Okay.
I will admit Alexander is going to be a, at a little bit of a disadvantage here. Knockback. Yeah, just because I don't think we're going to be able to pull both of those guys in there. However, it can be a little bit cheesy. Do a little bit of that. And then on top of that, I saw the appeal of giving Alexander the run ability, and that is exactly what I'll be using. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll have no choice but to move over there. Does he have corrosion? He does not. Okay. One shot for me, please. Damage, I love it. You know. Okay. Now, it's gonna be you. Can I get them both on me? I can't, unfortunately. Got it. Do this. Yeah, I don't want to damage Inquisitor. I'm okay with taking that hit. Unless... Perfect. Perfection. There's my crit. There's my crit right there. Perfect. Yeah, I think we took a little bit more damage than I was anticipating on this one, though. Um, do this one. Okay. I think that's where I'd like to go with that. Oh, I'm sorry. Glad they reminded me of that. There we go. Hmm... We're spread again. That's the only thing I would say that is really hindering me right now is the is the spread thing. Other than that, I think we would totally ace this. Come on, you can do this. Perfect. You got him. You got him. A little bit of an idea here. I don't know if it does. I doubt it does, but I wish that would also force them to like attack you in the next round. He might go for Ivar. Let's see. Oh my god, I didn't realize you had that, or I forgot about that. Hmm, that puts a damper in my plan. Just three twirls and that's it. That's all it took.
Finish him. Nice. And then um, critical hit while dealing damage. No. Okay. Here's the championship round. We came, we came out of this with a lot of Valor points, though. Really happy about that. Just one guy. What can he do? Uh, let's see. Incendiary fire throw. Blast throw. Am I supposed to be scared of that? Uh, deals. Oh, okay. Immune to fire damage and burning. Really? That's interesting. First things first, let's let's apply a little bit of fragility in here, shall we? Okay, here we go. Get him with that big hit. Oh yeah, that's juicy right there. I like that. Oh, guaranteed critical hits of the target if they're burning. Interesting. All right. Well, Inquisitor, if you don't mind. Mr. William. Mr. William, you'll do the honors. I should have used the both of them beforehand so I could do more damage to his armor. <laughs> oh wow, seven damage. Shaking in my boots. Alright, so now we got him. Finish him off. Ivar, if you will. Love you, buddy. Piece of cake. Now imagine if it was like a Dark Souls mechanic where he actually came back after the end. Victory means no bonus for us. Oh well. One has to be a good sport, eh? Thank you. You one will never walk alone. Nice. Will never walk alone. Oh yeah, so this is Berna. This oh, I wasn't expecting a question about Willa. I know it's not very respectful of her memory. The Bernas have oh, yeah? always opposed slavery. So when we finally got the chance to vote for its abolition at the Broker Council, I thought our time had finally come. I was so certain the reform would pass that I hired people. Bought mines and businesses, but at the last minute, Willa turned the council against me. They voted to keep slavery. All my investments were lost. It nearly destroyed my family. Oh, this is a one-handed axe. I gotcha. Um, I don't know. I don't know about that one. Interesting. But he definitely has motive. Well, I suppose that I can't refuse you my finest wares. Dude, who has the poison powder? Because, like, I still can't seem to find this stuff. I don't know who has it, but I really, really need it. All right, thank you, thank you. You could have let Hovendorf's arena win. Godric Old Verna looks a bit too pleased with his victory. I would keep an eye on him if I were you. He seems on edge at the moment. Hmm. Don't become like me. If you don't have enough to cover your losses, or you win a bit too much. You know what? I wonder if, uh... You could have let Hovendorf's arena win. It was the least... Godric Old Verna looks at it. I wonder if there was going to be, like, a different story path we could go down if we did let them win. That's very curious. I didn't think of that. What a mess. Apparently the situation has improved. If you want my opinion, Alizar... What will become of us without Broker Hovendorf? Oh, com... Oh, Comfrey. Okay. I need to, I definitely need to get some of that. That's plus three for me. It's a true. Broker Berner killed Willa Old Hovendorf. He never got over the fact that his best fighters left to join his rival. So he murdered her. 
Really? Okay. Interesting accusation, but I think it would be worth also checking out the, uh, what is this called? Alizarian Embassy, because I think it is true that um, they could have had something to do with this.